Hey, welcome back to Maya's Perilla Reviews. I'm just gonna lay here with you today. Yeah, about the you know the talk about Perilla wire. Oh, I gotta get up, I guess. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay. Emily thinks A calls social service on her on her mom and dad because there's big bruise on her back. Aria mom gets invited to go on a trip with her new boyfriend. Hannah finds a mask that looks like Melissa and and the mask door. Arya dates the karate teacher. Spencer helps Tobe find out what happens to his mother. Hannah finds a board in the police station with her pictures and arrows pointing to other people. Hannah's mom lies about being in town the day of Wilden's murder. Caleb asks his Hannah's dad to be there for Hannah because the police thinks Hannah's mom is a victim. Okay. We good? Yep. Alright. Okay. And that was pretty little liars. The Fosters. Mari Mar uh, Mariana and Jesus has a birthday party. And it's a called a quinceanera birthday. The Mexican tradition for okay. a birthday party. And one of the foster kids, Callie, um, asked to be in the quinceanera because the person that was going to be in there got sent to juvie. Awesome. Yeah. And Mariana finds out her brother is dating her best friend and she gets pissed off. No way. Yeah. That's that's some poor shit right there. And the real kid. As opposed to the fake kid. I'm sorry, go ahead. Has thing for Callie. Has feelings? Yeah. Oh. And Brandon breaks up with his girlfriend. Damn. Yep. Brandon breaks up with the girlfriend. Yep. That's about it. No. Alright. So what what'd you think of it? It was good. Good? Yeah. Yeah. No. I've been in there for the pretty little liars. Are you like telling them what you think about the episodes or are you just like giving them a recap? Recap? Oh, well, you gotta give a review. This is pretty little reviews. You gotta like give your feelings about like what the eighth episode was like for you. If you liked the episode, what you didn't like about the episode. How you're feeling about the next episode coming out? I mean, you got really. I'm excited kinda... for next episode for the wires. All right, I haven't been listening because I've been didn't want to get spoiled. But you gotta actually get into it. You gotta tell them. All right, we're going past the wires this time. What about Foster? Yeah. What, what do you think about the show so far? I mean, is it a pretty good show? I mean, do you yeah. feel like you're gonna stay with it? You're gonna like drop out of it? You think, or what's the in between? In between, so it's kind of it's not the greatest thing you ever seen, but it's not really the worst either. Now, what was the other show we were doing that you were going to do? Twisted? Did you ever watch it? <laughs> Hasn't have seen that yet? Is it even out yet or is it still... It's still out. Oh, it's not out? Okay. Uh, Alright. So, Foster's... Well, well, this episode, this past episode, was it better than the first one? Was it not as good as the first one? Like, This is the second episode, right? <laughs> Third? Third or fourth. Third or fourth, okay. So, I mean, in your opinion, is the show getting better than when it started? Like, it started off strong and get better? Did it start yeah. off strong and get worse? Like, what's the... It start off shitty and get better. Like, tell me, I, I haven't seen that. Yeah, I can't tell you. It got a little better. A little better. So you say the first one wasn't really all that. Yeah. And then it gets it's getting a little better. Yep. All right. All right. And we're gonna review time. The time travelers' wife. 
Yay. Yay. It's a romance. I'm going to eat a lead on this one. I'll okay. step back. It's all you. Okay. This boy gets in a car wreck with his mother. But before they wreck, the little boy disappears. And he travels in time. But when he travels, He's butt naked. He is butt naked. Yep. And he he goes see his this girl when she was a little kid. And then in the future they have to get married. I don't want to give it too much away now. I mean. <laughs> So what do you think about it? Oh, I loved it. Love the movie. Yeah, what's your review? My review? Well, I'm gonna get in review mode and sit here. All right, I'll be honest with you guys. I did not want to see this fucking movie at all. Look at the fucking cover of it. It looks like the gayest fucking thing ever. Look at the back. Even the back is just fucking fruity and gay. So I'm like, this is gonna be some boring ass fucking whiny chick flick kind of thing. Even if it does say time travelers wife, I'm still just like. <laughs> Time travel, who gives a shit, you know. We watched it last, last night. It, was, it wasn't really late, but I guess it, we, we've been up, you know, we, was, we had a full day yesterday, so I guess it was kind of late for us. Mm -hmm. We're watching it, and uh, yeah, it starts off pretty interesting. Like, like she said, like it starts off as a little boy, he's in a wreck with his mom. But before the impact, like, you know, you can already tell the car's going to control, the impact, he disappears. He, I can't remember exactly where he goes to that first time, but he comes back and he's outside the crash, the crash is already, you know, ahead of him, and he's right there, and then his future self, played by, uh, played by Eric Bana, which, I'm very hit or miss when it comes to Eric Bana, I think he's a good actor, but, I don't know, there's not really a whole lot of Eric Bana movies I like, he runs up to him, he's just like, listen, I'm you from the future, you know, I know, this is confusing, but don't worry, you know, everything's gonna be okay, and then, of course, you know, boom, and what it is, is like, he's a time traveler, but he doesn't control, like, where he goes, or when he goes, even. Like, literally, he'll be doing his normal job, and he'll just disappear. And when he disappears, like she said, she's, he's naked. So, like, he leaves, but his clothes just drop right there. And he'll appear somewhere randomly, just butt-ass naked. Uh, so, he's got that going. Once again, when he's gone, I mean, you, at first he's like only gone for, like, two minutes at a time kind of thing. But then, as the mood progresses, he's just gone longer like and longer. Weeks. Yeah. Along the way, because it does jump around a lot, because it's kind of from his perspective, but a lot of times, like, he'll leave, and then, like, a future him will show up. Yeah. And what it is, is he falls for this one girl. And when he falls for her, he starts going back in time, and he's visiting her when she was little. Which, initially, I'm not going to lie, when you first watch it, it seems a little creepy that this naked guy in the woods is trying to approach this young girl, like, fucking, what she was the first time, like, Six, five, six, something like that. It was very like, wow, what the fuck are they doing here? But when you actually put it in context with the rest of the movie, no, it's it's a very sweet movie. I'm not gonna lie, it's based, I was, on, it's based on a book. It is based on a book. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I was really surprised, and it actually is really good. Uh, the direction's damn good in this movie. I don't know who the hell did it. Robert, yeah, some weird last name, Shaw Winky from Winkitay. He did uh, Jacob Slider, and he did a um, shit. What else did I say he did? Ghost, apparently. That's what he saw on the special features. I seen Ghost a long time ago. And I Ghost. get to see Jacob Slider all the way through. Ghost. You know, oh my love, my darling. You know, Patrick it's, Swayze. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 So, Goldberg. Yep, with Goldberg. I'm doing more. Uh, no, it's actually, I mean, it kind of reminds me a lot, like, um, it kind of, it's in the vein of, like, Eternal Sunshine and Spotless Mind, which is probably why I really like this movie, because the love story seems pretty, pretty credible in this one. It don't just seem like a generic, but, yeah, thrown together, I mean, actually, well, don't say too much, you don't want to give anything away, it's, uh, but, it, no, it is, it's, it, but that was that, but the time travel itself is pretty, it's pretty good, like, I totally don't like, I don't like time travel movies where I, it doesn't like fated, like it has to go a certain way, like you can't bend it. But for some reason, I really liked it in this one, like cause it does kind of have that strict, like no matter what you do when you go back, you can't change anything. 
But I don't know, I'm, I was okay with it in this one. So yeah, overall, I, I liked it. I thought it was really good. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got on that one. So, so what, what what we got going on next? What's 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 next on the agenda, sweetie? Top five favorite movies. All right, before we get started on this one, like I I I think I know her well enough now. Like she mentioned certain movies that she really likes a lot. What shirt you wearing, sweetie? Twilight. We're in Twilight sure. Wow, okay. Uh, anyways, she mentioned all these movies she likes, and then when she had this top five, I'm like, I've never heard you mention hardly any of these movies at all. And I think I think she's full of it. I think uh I don't know, I think she feels like she's on a horror movie YouTube channel, so she feels like she has to try to throw horror movies in there. I don't know. I kinda feel like she's purposely leaving out a few good ones that she talks about nonstop. And yet, somehow they make the list. But go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. What are your top five? Uh, now, this is moves of any genre, right? Yep. Okay. So, go ahead. Three Amigos. No, wait. What? Are you starting from the bottom? Top number five. five? And work from the... Okay. Yeah. Number five. Three Amigos. Blood in, Blood Out. That's, the, that's another thing. When I remember when I first met you, uh, you said your favorite movie of all time was Blood in, Blood Out. And it got bumped to four? Yeah. Oh, all right. All right. And number three is Splash, 1984 movie. I've never seen it. I've, uh, Tom Hanks, Yep. Daryl Hannah, but I've not seen it myself. I just don't like Tom Hanks. I don't really care for Tom Hanks that much anymore. The Witches, 1990. Leprechaun 4, 1996. The What's The Witches? The Witches. It's about this little boy. He sneaks into a girl that adult group whatever oh. and finds out they're witches. Covenant witches? Yep. And the witches find the boy and turns him to mouse. Damn. I don't know what you got. I'm not too bad. Yep. Far out. Uh, for me, my top five, uh, number five is the, it's been kind of shifting there lately, uh, but just to keep this thing going, I won't uh, go into the whole thing. So my number five would be The Shining. Uh, love it. Anybody who's watched this channel knows that I love The Shining. Uh, four, Not Living Dead. Poster up there. Um, it's on camera now. Uh, three, bam, Halloween. Uh, two, Fight Club. And one, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. So, so you want to ask them what their top five is? Yeah, what are your guys' top favorite movies of all time? Of any genre, not just horror, right? Just anything. Yeah, it's anything. top five, period, so. Yeah. All right. Well, how can I get a hold of you? Uh, well, how, 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 how are they doing? Hey. Uh, Mom's Mom's angel 22 at gmail.com. All right. Comment below. And video response. Boom, there we go. You got a Facebook page too, don't yeah. you? You wanna to try to pimp that out there a little bit? Like I, I pimp my Facebook page all the time. So hey, check out my Facebook page. Yeah, check out my Facebook page. There we go. Alright. Well sweetie, is anything else on the uh, list over there? Or? Ghostface kid. Uh would you rather's. You like his would you rather's? Yeah. That's but we've been doing those a lot, but in fact I think he started something because now like after we wrapped up the show last night. We actually hung around just for about another hour or so, going through like we went to like a website. We're like, "Would you rather?" And we just did a shitload of them. And then after they all left, she's been doing it. So we've been doing "Would you rather"s all day long. And I thought it'd get old by now, but it really hasn't. Like each of them keeps me thinking. Like every one of them just fresh and original. So I'm digging it. I'm gonna get "Would you rather"s. Yeah, "Would you rather"? Yeah, a couple. Get a couple. We'll get a couple in there. All right, we'll do a couple. Okay. Okay, that's wrong. My, my if you were in right trouble, there. would you rather call Doctor Who or call the FBI? See, I never watched Doctor Who, so I really can't. I'll just call the FBI. You know, they'll probably fuck me over. Like Fox Mulder wouldn't, you know. I'll say the FBI. Say the FBI. Because yeah. you don't watch Doctor Who either, do you? No. Say, I don't know Doctor Who. I mean, he's been around forever. There's been like 30 of them, so I mean, he's got to be... Since they're there, there's like 30 Doctor Who, so I mean, he's not that good at his job, I don't think, so. Alright, go ahead. What would be the next one? Okay. 
become a superhero or become a super villain? I wouldn't think I'd become a superhero, but I could see myself going to that dark side. If I got like super strength and shit. I don't really want to get in a I'll fight. I'll be a superhero. I'll be a superhero. If you're a superhero, I'll be a superhero as well. So, all right. Well, we got anything else then? We we out. I got one more. One more. Why? One more. Would you rather have the first name refrigerator or have the first name dishwasher? Uh, I'm kind of a big guy. I'll take refrigerator. Like a William Refrigerator Perry, you know, I'll be like that guy. Box, or he wouldn't box, he's a football player. I'm a refrigerator. He gets dishwasher. He gets really hot in there. It's true. Hey, yeah, Dad yeah. does. All right, then, I guess uh, we're going to wrap it up. So, what do you always say? Until next time, America. Boom, until next time, America. I'm the movie Phantom. This is my, this has been my pretty little review. So, got to walk all the way around this table now. Normally I sit over there and just walk straight into it. I walk all the way around. Uh...